Thank you for joining us on this first ever virtual Overland Expo. Today we're going to give you a walk around of the all new 2020 Expedition 2.0 by Off Grid Trailers. So one of the best things about these trailers is that they're all metal. There's absolutely zero wood. There's nothing to rot. They're all aluminum. The only thing that's steel is the frame and that's a four inch steel C channel frame that's powder coated to protect it from all the elements. All of the boxes are powder coated. They all have compression latches and they're lockable. The great thing about these latches is when they're closed, they create a really nice seal that keeps all the dust and dirt out of the boxes. On top, there is a storage bin that is now standard on all trailers. That's a great spot for firewood, lawn chairs, any other gear you want to put up there. All the fenders are walk-on fenders, so these can handle 400 pounds. You can walk right up these steps, go on the roof, deploy your tent, put away your tent. If you don't have a tent, you could put kayaks, canoes, bikes, whatever it may be. The roof rack comes with the trailer. It is a standard feature. It's a custom made roof rack that's made in house. So whatever you can lift up there, it's going to be able to hold it. And it's also a great place to mount a 230 Peregrine awning. These awnings are awesome. They have two pivot points. One swings out to cover towards the front of the trailer. The other swings and covers all the way around to the back corner of the trailer. So really nice feature to have because you can add walls and it really expands like a Swiss Army knife. Next is the suspension. So first of all, we have Toyo AT tires. These are standard Pro Comp wheels and Timberin 3500 pound HD suspension. And that means that there's no axle. This is independent suspension, so there's no axle going across and you have 21 inches of ground clearance front to back, which is exactly what you want when you're off-roading. The Expedition has a unique side galley configuration opposed to a traditional teardrop where you'll see the kitchen in the back of the trailer. Everything for cooking is on the side of the trailer. So in this box, there's a drop-down sink and stove. You just release a rubber latch here, you just give that a pull. What that does is it keeps it nice and tight when you're off-roading so it's not bouncing down. This is a tip-down design so it's not sliding into the trailer and taking up interior storage space. And new for 2020 is a bracket built onto the back of the door here. That slides into the drop-down, supports the weight of this, and also locks the door in place so it's not going to swing around when it's windy. The drop-down has a Dometic dual burner stove. Everything's plumbed into the propane on the other side of the trailer. So all you have to do is drop this down, turn your propane on, and start cooking so there's nothing to connect. Also new for 2020 is a custom-made sink, much larger than before. And this one's optioned in with the Bluetooth stereo, and the speakers are located on each side of the drop-down. So when you're cooking, you also need a place to have your cold drinks and food. So up front here is a Dometic 60-liter fridge on a lockable slide. Give that a push, locks in the out position, and open that up, grab a drink, and grab your food. So when you have your hands full of food, you need somewhere to place it, and that's where the fenders come into play. The fenders are nice and flat, it creates a little work area, you can cut vegetables there, the steps are nice shelves, so you can put your drinks here, fold down the faucet, and there is a lid that comes with the sink, and that turns it into a prep area as well. So between this area, the fender, the steps, we found that we have plenty of space to do cooking and prep all the food. So let's go take a look at the pantry and storage around back. All right, so we're at the back of the expedition and new for 2020 is this custom made aluminum door. It's really heavy duty. It also has the compression latches. So give that a turn. The door raises nice and high so you have plenty of headroom. All of the shelves are fully adjustable. We just have a few things in here. Uh, of course, these don't come with the trailer, but we're showing you that you can use a front runner soft pack or you can use the wolf packs. They will fit in here. So adjusting the shelves are super easy. You just loosen the bolts, bring them up and down, tighten them up. You can remove one. You can flip them over. If you don't want the lip pointing up, you just want to point it down so you can slide a bin in there. So it's really easy to customize it for your needs. Also, when it comes time to winterizing the trailer, there's a panel right here. Take out all the bolts, take that panel out, and you have full access to your water pump, which is located right here. At the start of the departure angle is a 31 gallon water tank that goes side to side. When you fill that up, you take about 40 pounds off of the tongue weight. So close this down. Also, you'll see that the Expedition has a 50 degree rear departure angle that gives you a nice rugged look to the trailer and also a lot more flexibility when you're off-roading. Over here, we have the optional 230 privacy shower room. It's also on 
the swing out arm. This is also an option that you can add, but if you don't want to have the swing out arm, you can still have the shower mounted to the side of the trailer and take your shower there. But if you want to swing it away from your tent, nice feature to have. Also creates the ability to have an annex room still underneath the tent and your privacy shower room away from that area so we keep everything dry where it needs to be dry. So let's go around and take a look at the on-demand water heater and shower and the optional furnace. All right, so we're now on the driver's side of the trailer and this is the box that holds the on-demand water heater and the Propex furnace. This is the on-demand water heater. Uh, you have an adjustment for gas and water so you can get that temperature just right. Of course, it comes with your shower nozzle so you can take a shower here or if you have the um, privacy shower room with the swing out arm like we showed you earlier, you can take a shower over there. Really nice so when you're camping in those areas that's dusty, you can rinse off the kids or take a shower in the morning or at night before you go to bed. This is the Propex furnace. So this used to live on the roof. Now it's in the side box here, which makes it really easy to service. All of this runs off of the 11 pound propane tank. Everything is super efficient. This is the regulator for your propane. This is just the, the exhaust and intake hoses for the furnace. So now that we saw all that, let's go take a look at the front of the trailer. All right, so up here, this is the optional spare tire. Now it's an option only because some people like to match their vehicle tire to the trailer tire and only carry one tire with them. So if you do want to have a dedicated spare for your trailer, we can definitely add one on for you. We also have a max coupler articulating hitch. What that does is help the trailer articulate as you're going off-road and keep those tires on the ground. At the front corner here, we have the shore power plug-in. So if you're somewhere where you have shore power, you can plug a regular extension cord in there that's going to charge up your batteries. Below that is the solar plug-in. So you plug your solar panel in, run it out to the sun, and move it throughout the day as the sun moves. Also, the seven pin connector that connects to your vehicle is going to give you a trickle charge to the battery as well. So let's take a look at the rest of the electrical. Okay, you'll see that there's two deep cycle group 31 batteries. This trailer has the upgraded Xantrax 2000 watt inverter. This is new for 2020. The trailers come with a 1000 watt inverter, but you have the ability to upgrade from there if you need more power. Behind that, against a little panel, there's the breaker switch that kills all the power pulling from the batteries and your fuse box. Above it, there's a shelf. We just have our annex room for our tent and walls for our awning. But of course, this just gives you a lot more storage that's inside and protected from the elements. So so that is the front storage box where all your electrical is stored and that gives you plenty of power to run everything, all your LED lights and you know charging your phones and cameras and whatever else that you may bring along. So. All right, finally we made it to the inside. This is a full queen size bed. It's 80 inches long in here, so if you're tall, you're not gonna have a problem fitting into this cabin. On the 2020 models, we now have these optional drop-down shelves. They lock into place. There's one there locked up in place. They lock in place, they drop down. They're all metal. And the nice thing is that they're designed with an angle here, so when you're laying down, you sit up, you don't hit your head. Also new for 2020 is a third door here. There used to be only the two doors. Now there's a third door and the two bottom doors now fold down and they sit on a ledge here, which gives you a lot of area to put other stuff like laptops, phones and whatever else you want. The storage is super deep. Uh, you could fit about three to four carry-on suitcases up there. You also have the shelf up top, which when you put stuff in, you can push behind this panel. So tons of storage. Uh, the control panel here has everything you need to run your inverter. So this is the Xantrex inverter display. This is the Propex heater uh, thermostat. Then you have two USB chargers there with a voltmeter, two more USB chargers there. This is the intake and outtake for the furnace. And then you have your 110 plug-in. So really nice, easy to get to. And that is the interior of the Expedition 2.0. All right, guys, that's it. We did it. That is the walk around of the 2020 Expedition 2.0. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you have more questions or you want to learn more about the trailers, please visit offgridtrailers.com. There's a build your trailer button. You can play around with all the different options, see what your trailer would cost. And thank you so much for joining us on this virtual Overland Expo tour of the 2020 Expedition 2.0. Stay safe and have a great day.